want you to breathe me in Let me be your air Let me roam your body freely No inhibition, no fear Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Today we're doing a pregnancy update. I'm currently 26 weeks pregnant and I've started on my nursery. It's nowhere near finished. So I'm just giving you a little bit of an idea of like the theme of the room and the things I'm buying. I've gotten, I've put up a couple of things on my Instagram and I got lots of DMs asking where I got them. So I'm going to go through that and like I put a photo up of the actual nursery. Like I had like over a hundred DMs about the rug, the lamp, the table, the drawers. So there's uh, still a couple of things that haven't gone in, but I'll go through what I have got and yeah, just give you a bit of a geese really. So my pregnancy so far has been really, really good. I'm really lucky. I, I didn't get any morning sickness in the first trimester. I did get really bad nausea though. That stopped at about 11 weeks and I haven't had any since. But I've just been like really hungry all the time. So I've put on a lot of weight and I, I got a bit of hate on my Instagram talking about my weight gain and my boobs. I've gone up four, so I'm like a 10 G at the moment. Like I think it's warranted that I'm a bit worried about what the size of my boobs are gonna be when my milk comes in. But apparently, apparently not. I'm not allowed to complain. But the truth is, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit with my weight and there's a little bit of concerned with gestational diabetes so I'm getting that test in two weeks hopefully it comes back negative but if it comes back positive I'll probably share that as well and go through everything that I have to do but hopefully I don't have it so that's pretty much all I can complain about I have a bit of hip a bit of hip pain as you're only allowed to sleep on your left side I didn't know that you can only sleep on your left side during pregnancy and the pressure on my left hip is just it's a lot so I'm training, I'm doing boot camp like three days a week and I'm going for 15 to 20 minute walks um, on the other days that I don't train. Uh, yeah, I've been really good. So lucky. I haven't had any complications and the baby's doing really well and I've started to feel all the kicks. Sometimes they hurt, sometimes they're like really nice. That's about it. Bobby's starting to get a bit jealous already. She thinks this is her dedicated room. Which it is not, as you can see. Giorgio. Giorgio is doing really well with my my hormone current my hormones currently. I've calmed down a little bit from I don't know if you watched my IVF video, but you would have known that I was really hormonal there for a while. That's all gone away and I'm back to my usual self and he's really happy, so yeah, happy days. Really lucky. Okay, so first off we have the prints. When I first fell pregnant, I was like, I'm not doing anything pink, but as you can see, I did. So I actually do like a bit of pink injection with all the wood. So these prints were perfect. I got them from Living Lush. They have really cute prints and the best thing about them is they come framed and like ready to go. So you don't need to worry about pairing up the print with a frame and finding a frame. It's actually really affordable and they're really good quality and I love them. So that's the prints. The drawers I got from zanu.com.au, um, they have a matching tall boy as well, but I didn't need it as I have a walk-in in there for her. This will be really good for nappies and when I'm quickly getting her changed. I actually haven't got the change table. Well, I have got it, but it's at work. So I need to come and rearrange a couple of things and have a tip is to have your drawers right next to the change table so you're not walking everywhere when you're trying to change the baby. So. That will assist with the change table. The lamp, I love this lamp. We got it from zanu.com.au as well. So this and this came from the same place. I actually got a lot of things in my home from that website. So go check it out, it's awesome. So nursing chairs I feel are so overpriced. They go up to like $2,000 and sometimes even more. I found this one online under 500 and that was only 200 or 300. So together it was so much cheaper. That's from blackmango.com.au. I love our cot. So I bought this online. Um, it's a baby letter cot. I got it from Granite Lane. And I got the sheets from Mulberry Threads. 
and they're really nice um, to be like silky to touch and the blanket I got from Etsy so another thing I got from Etsy was my Moses basket it's really cute it's light and I feel like it's just something that I'm gonna have downstairs when I have visitors over and I can't obviously take the cold bassinet down the only thing that I did find was the mattress is really flimsy inside I'm gonna need to get like a custom thicker mattress made so that's the only bad thing about it but it's pretty good for an Etsy purchase and all handmade so I do have one unfortunately bad review uh, this bassinet I was so excited to receive it was really expensive I paid near $600 for it and I, it was like my one thing I really wanted to get and I got it from the Ratten Collective and it came completely different to the photo. It's a lot deeper than the photo so it's really, I feel like it would be really hard to get the baby in and out of because it's so deep. The mattress goes all the way down. Um, the gaps in between the bamboo here, they're really wide and I know that's not good for um, their arms and legs to get stuck in the photo that I bought it off. They appeared a lot smaller. I've contacted the company like five, like four or five times and they haven't replied. And they've turned off all their like comments on their Instagram, which is, I don't know, I should have looked at that before I bought it, but I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But apart from that, everything else has been great. So the rug I got from Etsy as well. Um, it is one off, so you can't get the same rug, but I will link the store so you can see all the other beautiful rugs. So this won't stay like this. I'm waiting for my little baby coat hangers to arrive so I can hang it, wash it all and then hang it all. But the storage unit I got from Ikea. I actually got it a couple of years ago and I used it for my clothes, but I had no purpose for it in this house. And then I thought, wait a second, I can get these drawer inserts, which are really cute. But they do have like a strong like cane smell. Yeah, so I'm, hopefully that goes away by the time she gets here. But yeah, you can keep, I'm going to keep toys in there, books. I'll go through some of the clothes, which I know a lot of you want to know where I got from. And then I think we're done. Okay guys, so I'm going to go through some of the clothes I've got. There are lots, but it'll be really boring going through everything. A couple of um, tips I have is when you see like cute overalls that I post, most of them are from vintage stores. So Etsy, Bohem Goods, uh, Worn, Bobby. So yeah, they're one off and they're vintage. So they're from like the 80s, 90s or 10 years ago, whatever. So most of the denim ones I have, I have bought in a bit of a bigger size and I've given them to Yacht to use for Connor. We're sharing like the unisex clothes as much as we can. But I've got all of my girly things here and I said I wouldn't dress her in pink, but I have been buying pink. So I started off just buying creams and mustards and then I was like, oh, she's a girl. Like I'm gonna maybe buy one thing pink and then next minute I got like a lot of pink things. So um, I'll show you guys what I've got. So she's getting she's being born um at the end of august so in australia it's cold it's still winter in august so i had to find like little like little cardigans and things that i can layer i found a really cute shop called nature baby um i think it's from new zealand i'm pretty sure little it's so cute i actually got maybe like 10 things from there so i got this vintage oshkosh overalls they're so cute um i think they're three zero to three months but they look pretty big so she'll i'll layer that if it's cold and if it's not she can just wear them like that but i've been buying a lot of vintage oshkosh a lot of vintage gas this one is also from etsy this is a not vintage it's handmade but what i really liked about it um was the easy access for the nappy change on the back so yeah, you don't have to sit there buttoning all of these things. You just like slip out her butt, change her nappy and happy days. Okay, my pretty much my favorite shop that I have found. I have lots of things from there. The cutest prints and like really nice fabrics and everything looks really um, easy to get on and off. And I just, I die like, it's just so cute. This shop's called Riley and Crew. And I'm just like, 
in love with everything I got from there. Look how cute it all is. <laughs> she probably will be too cold to wear that for the size I bought. But I'm just going to see because in Queensland it gets hot really quickly after winter. So she might still fit it. Okay, I put these up on my Instagram and I got so many DMs about the Flamingo little onesie. This was probably the one of the cheapest things I've bought. It's from Etsy and I've linked the shop below. But they're just really like simple, cute little onesies. I bought her... This is actually... Looks really small but... I mean, I bought her swimmers for um, we're going to Greece next year and I wanted to buy her. I wanted these. I didn't want to wait till then because they're probably out of stock. From Little Lemons, Lil Lemons, which is For Love and Lemons baby label. They're really cute and the fabric quality is awesome. And I also got some clothes from the same shop. Really cute. Another good one to go for is Zara. So I've been shopping in the Australian Zara and the US Zara. So the US Zara doesn't ship to Australia, but I have a PO box in the US that I ship things to and then they ship it to me. So I've been able to get um, some of the US styles for Zara, which like cute little pinafore dresses and they're really well priced. So this was $25 and you can like layer that. That's so cute. And some warm things. As you can see, I haven't got very many warm things yet. Yeah, so some warm little. I discovered this shop, Boheme Goods, and they sell women's wear, children's wear, and um, home wear, and maybe some other stuff too. But that, those three things are my favorite sections. And how cute, just so cute. They sell vintage and pre-loved um, goods and they're all really good quality and love that shop. So I'll link that one below as well. Because Yacht just had her baby, she's like, don't bother in the first like six weeks dressing her in anything that's not practical, like a, one, a zippy onesie and it's going to be freezing. So I'm just going to do like a bulk bonds order and have her in that for the first cold months so i will probably do another update on the clothes and the rest of the things i had to buy for the room um closer to when she's coming she's due in three months today actually i hope you enjoyed my update on my pregnancy and my nursery can't wait to see it all come together and i absolutely can't wait to meet her leave any questions below that you have we will leave all the description all the links in the description so hopefully uh, you find everything you're looking for if you've seen something you like in this video. It's so I, can, cute. I can, I can, I can. What are you doing? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my updated pregnancy thing. <laughs> what is